The Vulv Krikor Master Polo is one of South Africa's premier events exhibiting high luxury and fashion. While attending the event in Cape Town, South Africa's best brought their A-game in the style department. Let's see what went down. You are watching Uganda's unrivaled fashion and style TV show, The NTV Style Project. I am your host, Tazibon Solomon, and joining me tonight is Bettina Tiana. If you are back home, this is the show for you because you may walk away with a few tips here and there. The little stunner, Sheila Gashumba. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the show. <laughs> I think, you know, when South Africans have an event, everyone who loves style and fashion has to stop and be on their phone the whole time. And our guest for tonight, the founder of the Ugandan Scan Movement, ladies and gentlemen, Winnie K. Welcome to the NTV Style Project. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm Winnie K and it's an honor to be here this today on this show. Mm. I'm based in London, but I'm proudly Ugandan. Before we get into that, tell us a bit about the Ugandan Scan Movement. What is it about? Sure. Mm. I went to the UK when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And since I was young, when you told somebody you're from Uganda, people would say, oh, Idi Amin. Mm. I mean, nothing wrong with that, if you can argue that. Mm. But uh, I remember many of my brothers and sisters when you ask them then they would prefer to say they were from the West Indies or a different country mm -hmm. and so I grew up in a place where people are not proud to be Ugandan mm -hmm. and I said you know what it's time to show these people what we as Ugandans can do so that Ugandans can is literally a platform that showcases the best that Uganda has mm -hmm. to encourage our people that guess what we can Ooh, profound. Love that, love <laughs> that. <laughs> well, let's get right into the Vuv Kiko Master Polo, the style exhibited that day. We start off with the former Miss Tanzania, Julita Kabete, who was in attendance. Now, this girl is bringing the heat when it comes to style in the SA. Yeah. yeah. She is always rocking the latest pieces, and the way she showed up for this event she came to shut it down mm. yes yes i love the white brim hat it's an accessory that lots of people are living out here in africa but it's really really hot right now mm. so i think it's time to pull out our hats i'm um, mm -hmm. here for the accessories and also her makeup this is something i keep telling people subtle is the way to go natural glam is the way to go it's so 2019 and it's here to stay so for me this natural glam was amazing i love the smile on her her cold get smile is popping and i am here for the ensemble she like tell me do you love her fit when she she has these big events she always uses this particular designer i once asked her and she said the designer costs like 1500 euros and i just love the fact that it was a two-piece mm. like most times we, when you see pictures of this event over the years people have gowns people like people like bonang always have either long gowns i feel like this year people are just you know jumpsuits it was a little bit casual but yet very statemental i love the choice of color and of course the hat it's 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 everything i saw the other day aleko posting on snapchat that you know sometimes someone needs a hat so i yes. love it winnie k okay now this right here mm. you know sometimes when people think africa you're thinking mm, well mm. but this right here my girl brought the a game mm. i am loving that oversized hat because mm. when i look at it, i'm thinking j-lo at the grammy awards mm. and i love the detail of i don't know whether it's like her that, that bead of bead detail that, that on different the hat. Mm. yes so beautiful. I, I, and i love that the color it's it's not too loud well when you talk of a power suit it's actually made an exit from the corporate environment right onto you know day events such as this now this version of it is like giving me all sorts of life you get to see it it's bedazzled you get to see embroidery you see a bit of appliques here and there you see a corset yeah. and then there's a hat that's semi sheer you know south africans just keep bringing it just I do like not know. You know, I don't know, we just need a field day to just research South Africa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, the choice of color is just out of 
out of the box. Mm. The designer is, you know, a person who really takes their time. The, the detail is amazing. Everything is well sewed. Here in Uganda, someone wears something like that. You see that the pants down are not well, well done. There's always something lacking, you know, no offense, but we must appreciate a good finishing of an outfit. Mm. Her blade, and even the way she's posing for an outfit, I mean, you'd want to buy it straight away. I loved, loved the pearl green. It is so 2019. I'm seeing a few designers jumping onto this color. It's just so different and it just makes it look so exotic. This is something that I would actually wear in Monte Carlo all the way in Monaco. So to <laughs> yeah. me, I was envisioning this look on me because I love a good or pants suit. But personally, I feel like she should have, you know, look, um, worn the jacket. Hmm. Just, you know, have a more relaxed feel to it because it was really hot, very, very hot. And also for her accessories, the, the suit is already so bedazzled and the, em uh, the, the embroidery is you know, just so much. I think she shouldn't have gone for the long pearl earrings. She should have done studs maybe. And also what I do not like is her nose contour. It's too, too, too much. It's something we, we used to do back in 2010, 2011. <laughs> so maybe her nose is big. <laughs> and, and she has a very beautiful long nose. So the nose contour for me was such a turn off. Well, girl, I don't know if I'm going to be with that on you because for me, this is a power suit. This is a woman that says, I'm going to wear this and I don't give a damn what you think. Mm -hmm. This woman right here, and the fact that she could pull it off with a big old hat, mm -hmm. that looks absolutely amazing. She looks like somebody that will be going to the Royal Ascot if you're in London. Mm -hmm. She would fit right in. Let's just say this girl will give me a run for my money because I can't pause to save my life. <laughs> but this woman right here, I will buy whatever the hell she's she selling. Was... Up next, we have South African media powerhouse Nomzamo Mbata. Some of you may know her from uh, some of the best movies all the way from South Africa. I love her because I love her Instagram. She has the best flawless natural skin. Girl, you need to teach Ugandan girls, you know, what they should use. Now back to her fashion. I loved, loved, loved this purple jumpsuit. Sheila, take it away. I love this jumpsuit, but I think Shantara could do something like this. I feel like this is her signature. Like this whole side board, mm. bow tie or um, ruffles. Yeah. ruffles. It's so Shamtara, but yeah. I've loved the fitting. These South African mm -hmm. designers have mastered. Mm -hmm. One thing, fabric. Mm -hmm. And second thing, um, they've mastered finishing. The color choice is amazing. I just love the fact that all these um, celebrities really followed the theme. Uh, I want to talk about the flared pants. You know, the flared bottoms are actually making quite a comeback mm. lately. You get to see a lot of like yeah. flared bottoms. And mm. I think Nomzano is not like very, might not be really tall. Yeah, but she appears. But she did a turn up, and mm. this turn up was like, actually quite neat. You know, sometimes you, know, you have people wear things that actually you know, you wear like really long pants mm -hmm. and then literally just <laughs> sweeping yeah, sweep, the floor. Yeah. But like, True. I feel this turn up was in good taste. Mm. The color is to dye. Yeah. The hair is perfect. The skin mm. tone. How do these South yeah. Africans yeah. eat? My God. I must drink a lot of water. <laughs> Tell me about this ensemble. What do you like? What don't you like? Chic is one word that comes to mind. And actually, you're right. The, the bootleg, the flared trouser. Mm. I know there's a, a Ugandan designer who's coming up in, in London, mm. Sam Kaiser, and he did a similar leg. Mm. And she wears it so well. Again, with a turn up, I would have thought, eh. but she does it so well mm. that it absolutely works. Now with the hair, I know all of you guys say, you like it up there. I don't know if my hair is up right now, mm. but I would have put my hair up because mm. that would have given more height. Mm. Um, that's what I would have done. You know, men typically tend to shy away from prints especially polka dots now when you talk about polka dots people think that's like the most feminine print that's out there mm -hmm. men usually stay away from polka dots but this guy just makes me want to wear polka dots mm. he I don't makes know. me want to wear polka I, maybe because you should tell us what I you like. Feel like i don't, I don't know this suit for me is just like a statement suit for me. Mm. i may not like the color of the shirt because it's like really so high up but like, I'm here for the statement, statement, head turning. I love, love, love. I'll tell you what yeah, I love. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what I love. I love his haircut. It's gold. <laughs> yeah. Like his hairline is 
so nice. Mm. People travel all the way to Thailand or Dubai to, <laughs> to buy these hairlines. Like mm. the implants are quite expensive. A lot of people are dying for these hairlines, but I love his hair, and he looks well kept. He looks mm. he looks well groomed. You gonna men need to pick a leaf on that, please. You gonna men lotion or body oil or Vaseline is an only for and sunscreen. Don't and sunscreen is an only for women. <laughs> Even men need to have that glow. If this guy had a collar. I'll be thinking, puppy. <laughs> like seriously, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I'm not quite sure who told him that. No, that's a bit much. No, no, no. no. I, I, for yeah, me, no. this right here is not for me. Okay, now Terence Howard, Terence Howard, Terence Howard. Mm -hmm. Let me let me let the girls have their life, go life, <laughs> life. Okay, can I go first? Okay, yeah. go first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if okay, calm down. No. This right here. <laughs> Ugandan men, hi. <laughs> Hello. No offense, but actually, we have the some of the most looking men like looking. in the world. Yeah. Mm. But this is how you should dress. <laughs> Terence Howard, former E News host, and now he works for MTV Best. He is goals, like goals in capital letters. He is so fresh. I love his sense of fashion, and for me, he just nailed this look. It is so effortlessly buff and so dapper <laughs> i love this look i don't even know what to say i just want to take a picture with tyrant mm. howard you're watching just for the ground <laughs> you see those only pictures you only take just to post up yeah. this guy is just live Taz, what do you think long way. i love it would you rock this color but of course <laughs> if i can rock polka dots why would yeah. i <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you rock this color. Are all guys? When I look at these, these three people, it looks like she wore his jacket and he wore her Either blouse. Either swap. Is it? <laughs> That's a Listen, good this, guy, this, this guy yeah, with, the, with the blouse reminds me of just one person. I think the person would wear his whole outfit. Hmm. If you guess, I give you money. Bob Risky. No. <laughs> no? Peter Russell. Peter Russell. Yeah. Peter Russell. <laughs> I'll talk about the lady. We have seen so many ladies and pantsuits, you know, that most of them have corsets in. I normally love wearing a tartanic and people love to wear shirts with their suits. And for a bold lady, a strong woman who is confident with her body would go without anything inside, just oh, a blazer. It. But just make sure you remember to tape, 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 tape. <laughs> Yo, girls. I loved, loved this suit on her, although I think wrong event, it would really work well for Woman Crush Wednesday <laughs> post on Instagram, <laughs> but not for this event, because it was all about color, and nude is so subtle. One word comes to mind with the boys, with the, should I say shirts or blouses, flamboyant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Very flamboyant. Okay, we have critiqued a bunch of South African events and we still feel like these people bring it when it comes to day events and their style mm. is always impeccable. What do you make of the Vuv Master Polo this time? Well, to be honest, I love the theme. Mm -hmm. Color Roma, I mean, color is back. When you look at all these you know, sites of clothes and all these Instagram influencers, mm. neon collections are coming out, color is literally back. Mm. Overall, the event was perfect and fabulous. I'd mm. love to attend next year. Mm. I was thinking the same thing. Mm. I think we should get an invitation mm. and go down there and show them what we're made of. <laughs> I mm. love, love because that. Because you Ugandans can. And honestly, in London, sometimes I look at you guys in Uganda and I'm thinking, wait, where did they get all this? Where did you get all this yes. stuff from? You guys dress amazing. You look, yes. you, you look good. And I think maybe here we lack the confidence. Mm. Well, that was heated and pretty, pretty insightful. <laughs> well, that's what happens right here on the NTV Style Project. Let us take a break for now. We will be with you in a bit. Hello guys, my name is Bettina and welcome to the NTV Style Project Trend Segment. Today I'm going to be doing my own makeup and I'll be showing you a look that I did for a photo shoot. 
that I recently had in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles. So I hope you guys enjoy and learn something. So let's get right into it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm done filling in the brows and I'll go ahead and conceal under my brows. I'll take the concealer and apply it under my brows. I'm going to be using this MAC primer for my face as a base and I just apply it on my fingers. Next, I will use this foundation and apply it um, all over my face using a beauty blender. This is the side that I'm going to use. So I'll just go ahead and get some on here. Now I'll be using this palette to highlight my under eyes, my nose, my forehead and my chin. Under my eyes and on my nose. So I'll go ahead and apply foundation, another layer. So I'll turn to this other side of the beauty blender and blend this all out. So this is my spray and fixer that I'm going to apply all over my face just to you know help the makeup settle in. You can do this before you apply your foundation so I'm going to use my foundation to you know just go over my eyebrows at the top since I didn't do it at the beginning using the concealer why I do this is because it took the eyebrows to have that natural feel next is the baking process I'm going to take my good blender and add some products onto it. And this goes under my eyes. And I also apply on my forehead. This also goes on the chin and on my nose, of course, the center of my nose. I must say this is one of my favorite parts of makeup so I'm going to let this stay for some time before this process of baking I'm going to go ahead and do my shadow I don't like doing eyeshadow for day looks or for um, photo shoots because sometimes um, the eyeshadow shifts and I'm more into a natural dewy look so I won't apply too much eyeshadow something very simple and subtle next I'll pick this brush and just dust off the powder so I'll pick this palette again because my complexion is exactly the same color I like to mix in a darker contouring is very important for everybody that has cheeks or anybody that wants to have a snatched face so um, you have to pull in your cheeks like this to give that definition and put this under to define where the contour is so it's more of a highlighter for your contour so this is an eyebrow gel it's more of um, a setting product for the eyebrows people hug you or you know if you get to touch your face this will help them stay I love using blush on my face it just kind of warms up your face and I'm going to take I'll just take this brush and dab in there and smile brush it like that so I'm going to take some um, shadow and put it under my eyebrows just to highlight them and make them pop I'll take this brown shade that I normally use, blow some product and just go over there. Ooh, and come back here. I'm going to use this brush and dust off the powder that we put under here. 
after we've highlighted the nose and the areas that we want to make you know look sharper we have to go ahead and still contour the nose makeup is such an art i feel like everything we do is art oh and i actually studied <laughs> fine art in high school so this is the part that everybody loves so much highlighting your cheek bones so i'll go ahead and use this palette to highlight but i don't like too much highlight on my nose so that's why i prefer picking with a finger and applying it right there because we are trying to achieve something that is a little bit natural so i'll go over my nose contour again you know i want it like really defined and straight I don't know about you guys but right now I feel like I just had my nose done like literally went under the knife <laughs> thanks to makeup I feel like we're pretty much done with the face so I'm going to go ahead and um, do my lashes yes this is almost like the last step I'll be using these lashes so the, this is how the lashes look inside they're a bit heavy but since I don't have too much um, product on my eyes this will just do perfectly so we shall apply some eyelash glue onto my lashes please don't forget to comb your lashes before you apply this just helps the lashes to you know have something to sit on so every lash has a specific eye it goes to. So this goes to the left. It's like the hardest thing ever. So, all right, so we are done applying the lashes. I need to put a liner. And I have this liner that I just, you know, run from the corners of my eyes, just like that. I use this eyeshadow brush I just pick some product and put this in the corners of my eyes I'm gonna use this skin finish from MAC and this brush just to go over my makeup of course you don't go under the eyes because we already have a highlight the purpose is for that part to stay highlighted so don't tamper with it I'll go ahead and spray just so my makeup just you know settles in now we're going to apply lip gloss I love using lip gloss on my lips these are the two products I'm going to be using for my lips just gloss and a liner and finishing it off with just lip gloss just lip gloss foundation is one of the most important products when it comes to makeup and you can get a good foundation at around 150,000 180,000 UG shillings so this is very important because it helps with highlighting and correcting your, your skin color and also <clears throat> the product that is very important it is used for highlighting and baking like everybody else says it gives you that definition like you see we have a brighter shade here a darker shade this powder is what helps you do that and you can find this also here in Kampala and also the fixer I feel like this is very important because it helps put your makeup together yeah I think you guys need to watch lots of YouTube tutorials to do your makeup um, yourself because sometimes makeup can get quite expensive for example this face bit in Kampala would go for around 150 to a hundred thousand UG shillings so let me know what you want to you know see me do for you um, in our next trends um, segment just tell me what tutorial you want to for me to do for you guys and what techniques you want to learn I'm also learning but at least I can achieve this so I'm almost there you guys have to rate me on a scale of 1 to 10 what do you think about my makeup tonight's show has been shot on location at a brands collection Garden City
And if you love my ensemble, make sure you pass by Bold. It was by Konde Yuji and thanks our makeup artist Sheila Moa. Thank you so much for always beating our faces. And also, if you love my hair, it's by Sparkle Saloon. Make sure you drop us a comment on our social media handles. Tell us what did you love about tonight's show, what you want us to cover, invite us to events. I wish I'll be there. It's also been your girl Sheila Gashumba and I was just by Gush Glam, my own fashion brand. And also my hair has been done by Chris. Hi, and it's been an honor to be here. I'm Winnie Kay, and I have been dressed by yours truly, Posh by KC, mm. and my own little somber going on. You um, can see check that. me out on Instagram. I'm Winnie Kay Can, and Ugandans Can. That's where you find me. Thank you for hosting me tonight. Well, from the crew and I, good night. Good night. Take care. See you next Friday. Take care.